My name's Soraya and I make um, knitted wire jewellery and it's, it's sort of an in intricate form of jewellery using um, copper wire. This is the first time I've done open studios um, and I think it's been brilliant. You know, it's been, I've had very positive feedback. Um, it's been so well organised. I mean, it's been amazing, the, the promotion, the lead up to the event. The, the footfall has been amazing. I've, I've, I'm really impressed and I'd like to do it again. It's also got a 20 horsepower chassis, complete chassis. He wants to build a, build a hill climb, he wants me to build him a hill climb special. And he wants to put a 27 litre supercharged engine. So. Um, well, it's given me uh, an outlet to actually exhibit some of my work, because exhibiting is always a problem. Um, so over the last couple of days, more more people have seen it than in the last oh, year or so. Do commissions, and I've had a lot of interest in it because you know people look at my work a little bit differently now, which is lovely. So it's been really great for my work and it's helping me progress uh, because I'm interested in people's journeys. I've had a lot of talks with people. Tell you about this one. Yes, I'm Tammy St. George Headley. I'm a glass artist. I work with precious metals and dye. Go on. I'm Julie Leonard. I, um, the work that I'm showing at the moment is my iPhone drawings and sketches, which are all drawn on my iPhone, amazingly. Just five stops for. Oh, right, you do uh, people yeah, on the tube. Yeah, that's probably five stops on the tube, you know. Right. Um, as I'm coming home or I'm just wandering around, I guess people think I'm texting or doing stuff yeah. when I'm drawing their pictures. Oh, really? It's and I, and I tweet them as well occasionally. Yeah. But, um, oh, right. So watch out, it could be you next time. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Richard Crutchley, uh, I do London letters. So I take photographs of uh, letters that occur hopefully accidentally in the urban environment. So things like cycle stands, uh, street art, public art, the shapes in buildings, the shapes in streets, uh, and I create a London alphabet. My art form is fashion and design. Fantastic. And, and how, how have you found being part of the Open Studios this weekend? Um, this weekend is pretty full because yesterday we had a lot of people, more than 100 people coming in, checking wow. the works, see what we have been producing during um, this year, basically. And today people keep on coming basically, to check the works here. Yeah. I really like our work, what we've done so far. And some people actually, I think, want to join our course now because of what they've seen here. It's going to be a very good idea because we'll all so support each other. Um, there are occasions when you feel rather lonely on your own and uh, being in a network will be able to make contact. And do you think um, today and yesterday has brought new audiences to see your work who might not have seen it before? Most certainly, emphatically, yes. We were absolutely inundated yesterday as we are today and it's still only 12 o'clock. And how, how does that support you as an artist? It's been brilliant actually. Um, I mean, Dan's been such a support, as has Christina and so many others. I mean, I, I now have a, you know, a Twitter account and um, I've set up a Facebook uh, business page, which I hadn't done previously, and that has driven some good sales for me. It's also been great. It's been a great opportunity just to meet other local artists, to see what they're up to, to find out about what goes on in the art world in other areas and, and to, build, uh, to build some new networks that way. It's been fantastic.
very much into um, help, help funding and sponsoring uh, local community events in, in the Palmer's Green area. Um, I, I support a lot of events in Palmer's Green. Um, and I thought, yeah, this would be a good idea to look into a bit further. Um, once I've become a little bit more involved in it now, um, I've seen the um, hard work that Dan and her team have put, put into it. Uh, and I've offered my, my walls um, in terms of um, exhibiting um, Dan's work, um, as well as um, helping push the event through my magazine Palmer's Green Life, um, and also via, I've seen a variety of different people coming into my office today looking, looking at the, the art on our walls. Um, different people that would normally walk into my office, so it's helped bring a different clientele into my own shop. I'm very interested in um, becoming more involved next year. I'm seriously thinking of um, clearing my walls completely so I can have more works of art within, within my office, um, as well as becoming much more involved in the whole publicity side of things. I'm Becca, I'm Company Director of Venture Photography in Palmer's Green. And how did you get involved with um, Open Studios? Uh, well, Dan got in touch and she mentioned the art trail. And um, yeah, it sounded brilliant. Just re a chance to get involved in local community and be involved with art in the local area. Um, obviously, being a big brand um, such as Venture, we, we have a lot of... Um, studios around the UK but um, a lot of people don't know about us locally so um, it's just nice to have a fresh face with the local community and be able to invite people in and, and see our studio that wouldn't normally come in. And then I'll put the water cooler on top and depending on um, how much cooler well, definitely normal people that live in the local area, they that would normally just walk by the shop, they've actually taken the time to come in and see the artwork, but then they also buy stuff as well, and um, it's been good for the business, and it's been giving us a lot of exposure, and um, people that live in the area as well can come back. fantastic weekend. It was so busy. None of the staff had a break at all the whole weekend. Um, I, would, I haven't worked out the actuals yet, but we were considerably busier than we normally are, and we can be very busy anyway at the weekend. But it was a great weekend. It was great atmosphere. All the people who we hosted said they did really well, um, and um, everyone who came we think had a lovely time. Is this going to end up being it put in the washing machine? And what are they going to be? Like, yeah. yeah. you can put it out with a piece of paper. You've got everybody in here. Now. If it comes yeah. to fabric, and then you can make whatever you yeah. want with it. Oh, okay. So, just tease the. What I would do is start soaping up the edge. Oh, right, yeah. Start layering it. Right. Like that, and then okay. build it, building the layer up. Okay. So I just thought I'd come along and give it a go. And I really enjoyed it. I found Christina really inspiring and um, really motivating. It's been a really fun activity, a really good workshop and now I'm inspired to go and do some more felt making myself at home. It's a bit chaotic but yeah. um, lots of people having fun. Yeah. How many people do you think you've seen today? Well no, you can no. see this is many things that have been printed and we probably um, probably had like twice as many as this, so uh, oh, wow. quite a lot of people. <laughs> Yeah. And then you can go back with your darks and mm -hmm. put in the darks around here. Okay? Okay. 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 okay.
got Lily there, haven't we? Yeah. 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 I think this is very good too because um, I've been experimenting with making an elephant and doing a tile of an elephant. Yeah. And I, right now I'm trying to make a tiger. Okay. It's a bit hard. It's quite hard. Yeah. Yeah. I want to make everything. Oh, <laughs> we're very excited. We're very excited. Yeah. How did you find out about Open Studios? Basically, I got a letter through, well, one of the leaflets through my post box. Okay. And got very excited. Couldn't wait to tell my sister because we really like arts and crafts. We're yeah. big on that sort of thing. Yeah. And knowing that it's locally done and the local artists, it's amazing. It's something right. that I would like to get into personally myself. Oh, brilliant. Do something. Yeah. Well, we did it last year um, when they had it on last year. It was really sort of good to. Um, see what the community is doing, you know, different artists, because you usually go into places like Shoreditch or down the West End, and it's quite good with something that's more local to where you live. And, um, you know, you get, an, you get an idea of what's going on, and um, also some of the shops that are also allowing the artists to exhibit means that you go into them also to see what's, you know, what they've got to sell and so forth, so it gives you an idea of what's around in the areas that you live. And because um, we're doing our art GCSC, I thought it would be quite interesting to come along and see all the different types of art. Yeah, some, I saw some of the students' art books and it inspired me to do stuff with my art as well. Yeah, it was really nice. Come last year or was it, a, it was the first did, time this year? I think this is the first time. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it's, it's been a real find. I had no mm. idea. There was this, you normally associate this with kind of Crouch End and Muswell Hill, but <laughs> no, but there's a, there's a bus oh. in Palmer's Green. That, wow, that's just brilliant. Go. It's amazing. And, and what have you enjoyed so far? Have you got a favourite yet? Or oh, just... what have we liked? We, uh, we bought a, a picture that a, a, an artist had done on her mobile phone, which was just <laughs> Oh, wow. On the tube, on the underground. Yeah, she just sort of captures yeah. people. And we, bought, yeah. we bought one of hers, which was yeah, really nice. Great. Show me what you've been doing. Can you show me a flag? Wow, that's neat. Did you do that? Well, we live locally and um, we've done quite a few different art trails uh, around the country and it was just fascinating last year when we had the first one to see what uh, immense local talent there was and so we're back this year and we'll be back next. Uh, fantastic quality and variety uh, and it shows the best of our local artists uh, available for people to come and sample their wares. A lot of credibility because people realise that um, you know we've got backing from from our councillors um, that, that it's we're being recognised as um, almost a force to be reckoned with. Now we're actually getting people beating a path to our door saying well, we want to be involved, and it's the, the few people who haven't heard about it or didn't hear about it before our applications went out saying well, we wish we'd known about it um, and that sort of thing. And working with the local shops is such a big part of this. And I think that's what the council, I think, are recognising, that we are helping the local businesses and it's a genuine collaboration, so, which works both ways. The shops promote us, we promote them, give them free window displays. And we're so keen to, to create a better environment and, actually, and really put Southgate and Palm Green on the map as, as a destination to come to.